<clears throat> All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, I just want to give you an update on um, the issues I've had with the uh, DaVinci 1.0 printers. Uh, the latest software update actually uh, checks your serial number of your printer cartridges and relays that information back to the manufacturer and they decide whether or not you have a genuine cartridge. Um, the issue I was having was that I had about six cartridges, brand new, and one after the other I tested it and it was coming up with a non-genuine message. Now, I got onto I, I, uh, the supplier and they said they were going to help me out, but in the meantime, I discovered something very interesting. I... Um, I hooked up the printer to another computer that I had, actually a laptop, which had a slightly older version of the software. Um, if I go to about on this one, it says version 1.1.34.7. Now there is a more recent version of this one, and what this, what will happen is that uh, I will get a request to update the software. It'll pop up. And now I decided to select no, and the second step was I um, unplugged the network cable before I put the cartridge into the printer. Um, and uh, I was very pleasantly surprised to see that my genuine cartridge, supposedly non-genuine cartridge, actually worked. Now bear in mind I paid money for this cartridge comes into the XYZ packaging everything else and the latest software was not allowing me to use this cartridge but if I use a slightly older version of the software now when we've got the printers we've got an older version of the software with it and the online connection asks to update it just say no uh, if your printer's working don't say yes to that option and um, you may need to go one step further and disconnect the network cable while you're using that printer. Because um, you may find it hard to get support on this one from the manufacturer. Uh, I haven't got any complaints from our supplier yet because uh, they've responded to my query. But this, this really is an easy fix. Rather than send cartridges back and forth and try to fig figure things out that way. And I don't think that will actually solve the problem. Um, it's just easier to disconnect the network cable, use an older version of the software, and keep carrying on with the, with the work that you need to do. There's a very important news flash. Uh, thanks very much.